Well, hedging is actually the dirty word in uh, corporate finance. Uh, so if you go all the way back to the purity of corporate finance as reflected in their fundamental theory of Modigliani and Miller, in a world that has per perfect information and there are no transaction costs, and in those situations you can fully separate financing from uh, operational considerations, uh, hedging plays no role. Therefore, uh, the answer of that theory will be no hedging is necessary. If uh, investors at the individual level are risk averse and concerned about risk, they should go and do the hedging themselves. Uh, of course, over time, uh, the theories also in corporate finance start uh, reflecting uh, certain imperfections in the market that break down the Modigliani-Miller theory. So market imperfections like uh, taxes, um, you go and you borrow, you might be exposed to risks of bankruptcy and bankruptcy costs. Uh, you have managers that make decisions that uh, their interests might not be perfectly aligned with the firm. For these uh, transaction type and breakdown of, of the market, uh, perfect market assumption, assumptions, in those situations the theory will argue that the firm should hedge. And uh, the, the more um, uh, convincing, at least uh, in my mind, uh, the theory of uh, hedging for firms is you do it uh, because uh, you would like to be able to implement your long-term strategy in terms of the investments that you would like to make at different points in time. Factors like commodity prices that are affecting uh, your cash flows and expose them to volatility uh, sometimes uh, creating situations where you have inadequate funds to make your investments that support your long-term strategy create risks for the firm that have to be dealt. And hedging is a nice way uh, to take uh, some of the good scenarios where you have a lot of funds and transfer some of those funds to other stages of the world where you have inadequate funds. And by doing so, you are able to implement your investments according to your long-term strategy and in those situations, uh, hedging uh, generates uh, increased expected profits and supports your long-term strategy and makes sense. That is the best answer that is out there uh, right now. But again, when you go and you look at that answer, is uh, every firm in isolation decides if they're going to hedge or not. Based in the presence of uh, imperfect markets, uh, information asymmetries or transaction costs, and some of these costs also are going to constrain their implementation of long-term strategy. And therefore, if they hedge one commodity, they should be hedging all of them. And if they are hedging in one situation for one product or one market, they should be hedging for all products and all markets, which we are going to argue that is the weakness of the current theory.